for a cow. Okay, so I've chose a cow by holding shift and right clicking. Now I'm going to let my finger off a shift. I'm just going to simply right click. Boom. You see how it does it? And it says the nearest one's 32 blocks away and in east direction. So we'll look where east is. Uh, we're, we're facing east. Uh, I'll, I'll give that. Greetings, 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 everyone today. Good, I hope. Right, today's mod is called the Simple Mob Radar Mod. That's a mouthful. Should appear up there in a second. Why it does AE West, which gives the ability in game to craft yourself two little handheld radars, right? Randall radars. Is that the right word? Handheld radars. One will find you the passive mobs, and the other one will find you the aggressive mobs. 1.12.2, really, really cool. Let's get into it and have a look, shall we? Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, some mini maps have it on, and you can see where this. This is cool, right? Because with the with the aggressive one, we call it, well, the simple one, this is the simple one, that's the passive one. Okay, with that one there, not only does it tell you where the uh, mobs are, you can select certain mobs to scan for. Now, this comes in handy if you're looking for your woodland mansions because you can look for the, uh, you can scan just for, I can't remember what they're called, vindicators? Are they called vindicators? Whatever them people are in all the man mansions, you can scan just for them and it'll tell you if it's close to you, how far away it is and that. And... When you go into the Never, you can just scan for the Blaze, which will find you Never Fortresses for you. <laughs> Always thinking, cheers, Kate. Right, anyway, let's, let's show you it. I'll show you how it works. It's pretty cool. So these are the two here. Nice and cheap to craft. All you're going to need is, this is for the, um, obviously, aggressive mobs, is uh, a compass and a bit of rotten flesh. And for the passive one, this green one here, is a compass and a bit of wheat. And that's all there is to it. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to nip across into another world now, and I'm going to show you these work because it's really, really cool, and I know you're going to love it. Stay in a second. Stay in a second. <laughs> See you in a second. Right, like magic, here we are. So I've got the passive one in my hand. So how you work these things is quite simple. Okay, so you're going to shift and right click. Okay, so as you right click, you see it comes up on the screen and it's good. it shows you what to look for there. You see these binmans, uh, spiders, silverfish. And you can go for them, blaze, cubes, yeah, ender dragon and everything else until you find your one you want. Okay, so we'll just go through until we find... I'll tell you what, let's change it to this one. Let's just shift. Both work exactly the same way. So this is obviously the yellow one's the aggressive, the green one's the passive. Okay, so polar bear. So let's go for something. I can know there's a chicken around here because I can hear it. So let's look for uh, let's look for a cow. Okay, so I've chose a cow by holding shift and right clicking. Now I'm going to let my finger off a shift. I'm just going to simply right click. Boom. You see how it does it? And it said the nearest one's 32 blocks away in an east direction. So we'll look where east is. Uh, we're, we're facing east. How, how, how is that? In fact, now some. You can see it. See what I'm, I was about to say. Sometimes it shows you it in white there. So that there is a cow. That was the closest cow to us, which was 32 blocks away. Let's just go across here. If we drop down here, just prove it's a cow. Well, we all know it is because we can hear it. But boom, baby. Mm. There's a cow. How cool is that? Exactly the same. Say if you wanted to find... Well, there's hundreds of cows across here. Say if you was looking for... Uh, let's go to the, uh, the... What's name? The simple one now. Mm. So we'll shift. Right click. We'll go through. See how it said there? Oh, hang on. Let's skeleton. Mm. Husk. Zombie villager. Oh. So you can also look for your villagers in the passive one. Let's go. To, let's look for a um, villager uh, skeleton. Okay. So I'm going to take my finger off shift now. Now I'm going to simply right click and it will scan. It says elevation is eight blocks below me in a west direction. Okay. He's there. There he is there. Okay. So you can, you know, I, mean? I can go across there now. Let's just wander across here. Now the range is 64 on both. It can be changed in the config. It does say if you start going to 120 blocks away. It, it, it can start playing up a bit. But 64 block scan mm. is not too bad at all. Let's just have another scan. There it is there. Then we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just dig down through it's there. Mm. Not, not that I'm saying it's live, but you can just see how good it is. This is what I'm saying is, I know you can have it on your mini-maps, but on your mini-maps, it's not a uh, boom, baby. Uh, there we go. There he is there. There's a the skeleton. And if I'm looking for some creepers, I'd have fell in some creepers as well. That is how cool it is. And like I said, think of the things you can use it for. Let's... Uh, in daytime, think of the things you can night time, should I say? You can use for you're looking for let's go, let's go across here, let's go on the simple one. So, I'm gonna yeah, just scan it again. So, I'm gonna shift, okay. I'm gonna let's drop that to the ground. I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm gonna click. Let me just change the view. So, there we go. Wolf, uh, mushroom, ocelot, okay. We'll go through them like that, okay. And then you go on to this one, the simple one, which is the yellow ones, the aggressive ones, okay. Spider, okay. Zombie, slime, gas. So, if we choose something like a uh, a zombie pigment. Which we know is not going to be right. Hang on, let's choose something like an Enderman. Okay, let me finger off shift. Scan for an Enderman. Oh, there is one. It's 53 blocks away and it's 19 blocks below. So it's in uh, what? It's in the south direction. Let's just have a quick look. South is uh, that direction. There he is there. There's the Enderman. Not that you should ever look at Enderman. There he is there. Okay, it's, it, it, with that little white thing highlights and it even makes it even better. And like I said, you imagine going into the um, into the Never. All right, cows. Can you imagine going into the Never 
and uh, using it to find your uh, never forces instead of looking around. Like I say, use the green one. We could shift, right click, go across here, parrot, uh, skeleton horse, donkey, mule, uh, pig. We're trying to find a villager. And then you can just find your villagers. Polar bears, llamas, parrots. It'll be there somewhere. <laughs> Donkey. Let's do it. Let's scan for donkey. So I took my finger off. Now I'm going to scan for donkey. No donkeys found. So there's not a donkey in a 64 block radius. Like I say, you can up the blocks if you wanted to. So it scan even further. But uh, if we scan for a skeleton, let's go on to this one here. The simple one. So we're going to go skeleton, spider. Um, let's go. But there's not going to be no blaze. We obviously know that. And the dragon. Not that you know, need to know where that is. Which is, if we go, let's go to, um, let's find skeleton. Oh. Come on. I've gone past skeleton now. That's typical. Zombie villager. Have we got any zombie villagers? No, no zombie villagers found. And nearly jaw. That's 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 the thing, isn't it? That's the what's name in the woodland mansions. Tell you what, let's have a scan for that. No, mm. nothing. Nothing within 64 blocks. Doesn't mean they're not here. But it means they're not within 64 blocks. Creeper. Okay, let's have a scan. Boom. Creeper. It's uh, 33 blocks away in a south direction. So uh, south is I'm facing east. South is south is in that direction. There it is. There. Boom. Mm. And that's all there is to it. Out calls that. So your yellow ones are aggressive. And your green one is your passive, it says there. And that's all there's true it, really. Oh, I tell you what, I absolutely, I think it's an absolute cracking mod. It, just just because, you know, within the 64 radius, you can find it, like I said, go into your uh, Never Fortress, looking for your Never Fortresses, scan for a blaze, you'll know within 64 blocks, if you're in, in with one, it'll tell you where it is. You'll fly across there. And let's face it, you find a blaze, you find it, oh, you find a Never Fortress, you also just got smacked in the face. Download link in the description below. You only need one thing, it'll be down there. Click on show, show more, go all the way down to the bottom, it says there, boom. Click it, Chucky Strainy Mods folder, newest version of Forge. And that's it. You take care. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. If you're wondering where Cheesecake's been just lately, excuse me, Ken. I, I had major problems with my computer. And I mean major problems. So, but hopefully I'm going to get back on track now. That's my excuse. It's done. Uh, that's it. See you later. Thanks for watching. And I'll, I'll see you next one. Hopefully sooner than a week ago. <laughs> or a week. See you later. Bye. Right. Uh, let's go in there. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to scan for some slime. Because tell you what, you can't beat slime. <laughs>